Okay, let's go ahead and close down that Illustrator file that's still in the background. We don't need that at this point in time. And we'll fit everything in the window so we can see all of our documents. Now we'll go back to the main selection tool just in case and make sure nothing is highlighted. What we want to do now is look at the ways that we can also transform elements using different tools as opposed to the transform dialogues. Now what we're going to do is take our stripes that we have here on the A4 document and bring them across into the A3 one. So make sure in the layers panel here that we have the Italian stripes layer unlocked so we can go ahead and select them and then a quick and easy way to get something from one document to another as well as copy and paste in all the ways that we've learned so far is to hold down once again the option key or the alt key on the PC now if you haven't already caught on to this this is probably the most powerful keyboard option in Illustrator once we add it to different keyboard shortcuts or different tools it opens up more and more doors so I really think this is a great option here hold down that option key and simply select an object drag it to a different location okay and I'm gonna drag straight across here holding down that shift key as well to keep it straight but you'll see that by holding down option we've created a copy alright so much faster than copy and paste simply option drag now we can zoom in a little bit closer on here because what we want to do is now tell this particular item to be the same width as our page in the background now as you know you could go to transform up here we could also go through to the transform panel over here and make the similar adjustments but what we can do is the first option called free transform form there's a free transform tool over here in the tools panel you can see its keyboard shortcut is E so go ahead and hit E and you'll see a bounding box appear around the outside of our stripe so as you can imagine if we position our cursor over one of these anchor points I'm going to choose the center one over here and then drag you'll see that we can increase the width and snap it into our right hand frame there okay so we've now got this to the exact width of our page now you may have also noticed that as you move your cursor outside of free transform it becomes curved well this simply means if you click and drag with that you've now got access to a rotation tool now you'll notice it does rotate from the center that's the default and we do have a little bit of feedback there but we're not able to tell it please rotate by this exact number of degrees okay this is very much free transform okay you drag you move you distort those things are manually done and not numerically okay so very quick and handy just by hitting the E key there if you do wish to change the scale or something like that but if you want to do something more mathematically then obviously we have more options available for that so just make sure you undo any rotation that you've done and go back to the main selection tool when done